frequently asked questions about the social representation theory. 1. What is social representation theory and why is it important? Social representation theory, developed by Serge Moscovici, explores how individuals and groups collectively construct shared meanings to make sense of their social world. It is crucial for understanding how people create common understandings through communication and interaction. By delving into shared meanings and interpretations, the theory offers insights into how societies form a shared reality, influencing behaviors, attitudes, and societal structures. 2. How do social representations relate to common sense knowledge? Social representations are often rooted in common sense knowledge in everyday experiences. Common sense knowledge forms the basis for shared meanings within a society. For example, the common sense knowledge about success might include notions of wealth, career achievements, and personal happiness, contributing to the social representation of success within a community. 3. Can you explain the concepts of anchoring and objectification in social representation theory? Certainly, anchoring is the process of linking new information to existing knowledge. For instance, when introduced to a new smartphone, individuals anchor this information by relating it to their existing knowledge about features, brands, and performance. Objectification, on the other hand, involves transforming abstract concepts into tangible forms. In the context of climate change, individuals may objectify the abstract concept by representing it through concrete images like melting ice caps or extreme weather events. 4. How does social influence play a role in the formation of social representations? Social representation theory emphasizes the significance of social influence in shaping shared meanings. In a workplace, influential figures may express specific expectations for leadership qualities. This social influence contributes to the formation and diffusion of social representations within a society or group. Individuals are influenced by the ideas and perspectives of others, contributing to the shared understanding of concepts such as leadership or success. 5. How do social representations evolve over time, and can you provide an example? Social representations are not static, they evolve over time due to changing social contexts, experiences, and interactions. Take the representation of family as an example. Traditional representations focused on a nuclear family structure, but contemporary representations acknowledge diverse family arrangements reflecting changing societal norms and values. The dynamic nature of social representations allows societies to adapt to new information and challenges. 6. What functions do social representations serve within a society? Social representations serve various functions, providing a sense of identity, guiding behavior, and maintaining social cohesion. In the context of health, social representations of illnesses may influence how individuals perceive and respond to health-related information. For instance, the social representation of COVID-19 of may shape public adherence to preventive measures and influence societal responses to the pandemic. 7. How does cultural variation impact social representations? Social representation theory acknowledges that representations can vary across different cultural and social groups. Consider the representation of time. In some cultures, time is perceived as linear and strictly organized, emphasizing punctuality. In contrast, other cultures may view time as more fluid and context-dependent. Cultural variations in social representations influence how individuals within each culture interpret and navigate their social reality. Eight. What research methods are used to study social representations? Researchers employ various methods to study social representations, including content analysis, surveys, and qualitative interviews. For example, researchers studying the social representation of gender roles might conduct interviews to explore how individuals within a community perceive and articulate their roles and expectations based on gender. These methods help uncover the content, structure, and evolution of social representations within specific contexts. 9. Can you provide examples of real-world applications of social representation theory? Certainly, the theory has practical applications, especially in health communication. Understanding social representations of health and illness is crucial for designing effective health campaigns. For instance, a campaign promoting vaccination may consider existing social representations of immunity, community well-being, and responsibility to tailor its messages and address potential concerns within a specific population. 10. How does social representation theory impact policy development and interventions? The theory has implications for policy development and interventions. Policies that align with existing social representations are more likely to be accepted and adopted by the public. 
For instance, environmental policies emphasizing sustainability and community responsibility align with social representations of environmental consciousness. Acknowledging and incorporating these representations in policy making enhances their effectiveness and societal impact. In summary, social representation theory offers a comprehensive framework for understanding how shared meanings are constructed and shared in society. From foundational concepts to real-world applications, these FAQs provide a nuanced understanding of the theory's relevance and impact in various aspects of our social reality.